Eight tips for managing stress. The bills are piling up, the dishes haven't been washed, the kids are screaming and you're late for work for the third time this week. Oh, stress can be real b- While it's normal to experience some stress in your life, experiencing too much of it too often can be extremely detrimental and even fatal to your health. Hello and welcome to MedTouch, the best place to find the right medical information. Every single one of us experience stress at some point in our lives, but what exactly is stress? Stress is a biological response to a potentially dangerous or threatening situation. When you encounter a stressful situation, such as coming face to face with an angry bear, your body releases a flood of stress hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline. These hormones activate your fight or flight response, which is your body's way of telling you that unless you want to become that bear's next meal, you need to respond right now. This causes a surge of physiological responses in your body, such as rapid heartbeat, muscle tightness, razor-sharp senses, essentially everything you need to increase your chances of survival. Although it's often labelled as such, stress isn't actually a bad thing. In fact, without it, you wouldn't be alive right now. Stress helped our caveman ancestors survive, and it continues to keep you alive today by helping you to avoid potentially life-threatening situations. Stress only becomes an issue when it becomes chronic. Experiencing persistent and ongoing increases in heart rate, elevated levels of stress hormones, and increased blood pressure puts unwanted strain on your body and brain, which can increase your risk of developing conditions such as hypertension, lowered immunity, cognitive impairment, anxiety, and even a heart attack or stroke. While it would be impractical and not to mention impossible to eliminate stress completely, you can reduce the impact it has on your health by taking steps to minimise and manage it more effectively. That's why in today's video, we're going to share eight helpful stress management tips that you can use to effectively manage your stress and live a happier, healthier life. Tip number one. Identify the source of your stress. The first step in effective stress management is to identify and investigate the sources of chronic stress in your life. To make this easier, think of life as having 10 main areas. These are family, which includes your biological or adopted parents, sibling, grandparents, extended family. Intimate relationships includes your husband, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend. Social relationships, your friends or close work colleagues. Parenting, which includes your biological or adopted children or foster kids. Work or study, or both. Health, includes your overall physical and psychological health. Personal growth, your overall personal goals, visions and dreams. Leisure, includes your hobbies, me time, travel spirituality and belief in the higher intellect, and community and environment. Take a moment to consider some of the situations, concerns or challenges in each of these areas of your life. You may notice that some of these stresses are events that happen to you, such as going through a divorce, moving houses or starting a family, while others seem to originate from within you, such as feeling anxious about making a presentation or awaiting the results of a medical test. Sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming acknowledging all the sources of stress in your life. However, it's important to remember, in order to solve a problem, you first need to identify that it exists. So by recognising your stress, you've taken the first positive step towards lessening the impact it has on your life and your well-being. Tip number two, understand the cause of your stress. Now that you've identified the sources of stress in your life, it's time to understand why these things are making you stressed. Keeping a stress journal can be a useful way to achieve this. Journaling is a powerful self-reflection tool that can help you understand, on a deeper level, why a particular person, event or object triggers a stress response in your body. Each time you feel stressed, describe the situation how you feel, both physically and emotionally, and how you responded, 
or plan to respond to the event. Just writing down and reflecting on a particular problem can help you view it from a different perspective. For example, let's say you're stressed about an upcoming exam. By reflecting on how you feel, you might discover that it's not the exam that's triggering your stress, it's the fact that you've been procrastinating by binging on your favourite TV shows all week. By gaining a deeper understanding of what triggers your stress, you'll be able to develop more effective ways of avoiding or coping with it. Tip number three, set yourself goals. To achieve a less stressful life, you need to set yourself some goals. Big or small, goals give us purpose and keep us headed in the right direction. But before you can achieve a goal, you need to have an idea of what it looks like. This is where visualisation comes in. When we visualise a goal, we catch a glimpse of our preferred future, which motivates and prepares us to achieve what we want. Take athletes, for example. Athletes use visualisation to improve their performance by having a clear image of what they want to achieve, be it improved coordination, motivation or stamina. Visualisation can help them perform at their best. So, Choose one stressful area of your life that you want to improve. For example, if your job is making you stressed, your goal might be to take a much needed holiday. Close your eyes and visualise all the details, the sights, sounds, smells, tastes and tactile feelings. Imagine yourself on vacation at the beach. Picture waves softly crashing, the smell of the ocean breeze the taste of the ice cream, and the feel of sand under your feet. The more you get into your visualisation, the better. Once you've clearly visualised your goal, break it down into small, achievable steps. For example, to achieve that much-needed holiday, your first step may be to start saving money by setting aside 20% of your income each week. Try to only focus on managing one stressor at a time. Some stresses take longer than others to manage, so be patient and give yourself time to steadily work through your goals. Tip number four, slow down and take a deep breath. When we're stressed, we often make poor decisions. This is because it's hard to think clearly when you're under stress. Your blood pressure rises, adrenaline and cortisol flood your body, and your fight or flight survival instincts kick in all of which interfere with positive decision-making. So, before responding to a stressful situation, take a moment to relax and catch your breath. Relaxation techniques such as meditation, deep breathing exercises and yoga are extremely helpful for deactivating your fight-or-flight stress response and bringing your mind and body back to a state of restfulness. Here is a quick and easy breathing exercise you can try right now or whenever you're feeling stressed. Start by sitting upright, keeping your back straight. Place one hand on your stomach and your other hand on your chest. Breathe in deeply through your nose, holding your breath for four seconds. Gently breathe out through your mouth, letting your shoulders, face and body relax. Repeat this exercise as many times as you need or until your breathing has returned to normal. Tip number five. Make self-care a priority. It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life. However, in order to effectively manage stress, you need to be at your best, both emotionally and physically. This means getting at least 30 minutes of exercise each day, eating a healthy, balanced diet and getting an adequate amount of sleep each night. Exercise is extremely effective at reducing stress because it activates a part of your brain known as the parasympathetic nervous system. Activating this part of your brain helps to alleviate worry, anxiety, built up muscle tension and can improve your overall mood. Any form of exercise is beneficial. However, it's best to choose a gentle activity such as walking the dog, practicing yoga or going for a casual bike ride. Eating five healthy meals a day is also crucial. When you're stressed, cortisol inhibits insulin production, which causes your blood glucose levels to rise. 
This tricks your body into thinking that it needs immediate energy, so it sends signals to your brain that triggers cravings for high-energy quick fixes such as sugar, caffeine, nicotine, and fatty foods. Falling prey to unhealthy cravings, combined with high blood glucose levels, greatly increases your risk of weight gain, hypertension, prediabetes, and other serious chronic health conditions. Instead, focus on eating plenty of natural whole foods that are rich in fibre, protein, and complex carbohydrates such as lean meats, brown rice, nuts, fresh fruit, and non-starchy vegetables. These foods release energy slowly, which will help to keep your blood sugar levels stable and prevent you from binging or making unhealthy choices when you're feeling stressed or tired. Speaking of being tired, you also need to pay close attention to how much sleep you get each night. Sleep and stress are closely linked. Cortisol not only affects your food cravings, but it also affects your sleep-wake cycle. When your cortisol levels are too high during the night, it's extremely hard for your body to relax and fall asleep. To help lower your cortisol levels before bed, practice relaxation techniques, avoid stimulants and alcohol, and reduce your exposure to blue light by switching your phone to night mode. If you'd like to learn more about improving your sleep quality and quantity, check out our channel to see how you can create an effective sleep schedule and a powerful sleep environment to help you get a better night's sleep. Tip number six, make time for leisure and relaxation. The sad reality is most of us take better care of our smartphones than we do ourselves. Just think, when your phone battery reaches the dreaded red zone, what's the first thing you do? You most likely panic and run frantically to the nearest power source to charge it up before it shuts down. Yet when you're irritable, sleep-deprived, anxious and feeling unwell, all signs that your own internal battery has reached the feared red zone, how often do you continue to power on, despite being both physically and emotionally exhausted? Probably more times than you'd care to admit. But if your phone can't function properly without being recharged, neither can you. So it's time to start putting your own well-being first. Begin by opening up your calendar and blocking out a time slot each day dedicated to some quality me time. Use your me time to engage in a new hobby you've always wanted to try or simply indulge in some quiet alone time with your favourite book, playlist or podcast. Remember, this is your time to recharge and unwind. Push aside any worries, obligations or responsibilities and don't let yourself feel guilty for taking a break. Tip number seven, connect with supportive people. There's nothing more soothing than spending quality time with the people in your life who love and cherish you. In fact, studies have also shown that having a strong social support system can help to shield you against stress and anxiety by triggering the production of happy hormones that counteract your body's fight or flight response. So when your stresses start to pile up and you feel yourself getting overwhelmed, start a meaningful conversation over the phone, through a video chat or face-to-face -face with someone you trust. Don't worry about appearing weak or burdening others with your feelings. The people who care about you will be flattered that you feel safe and comfortable enough around them to open up about how you feel. If you don't have someone close to you who you can lean on for support when things get tough, that's okay. There are many ways that you can start building and maintaining a strong support system for yourself. Try reaching out to a colleague at work. Call a friend you haven't spoken to in a while or volunteer for your favourite charity group. You can also try joining an online support group to connect with other like-minded individuals. Just remember, you don't need to deal with your stress alone. Help is always available. If you find yourself in need of urgent assistance, please reach out to your local crisis support helpline. Tip number eight, seek professional help. Sometimes a simple conversation with someone you can trust can help you to realize that you need extra assistance in managing your stress. If so, don't be afraid to take the conversation further by reaching out to your doctor or a qualified mental health professional. 
your doctor or healthcare professional can help you identify different factors that might be contributing to ongoing stress and teach you ways to effectively manage stressful triggers in a healthy way. Keep in mind, while you can't avoid stress completely, you can grow and become more emotionally resilient by focusing on challenges that you can manage with the support of friends, loved ones, and trusted healthcare professionals. So there you have it, eight helpful tips for managing stress. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, leave us a comment, and turn on that notification bell so we can stay in touch.